1960, the year of Polaris. Reaching from a nuclear submarine deep in the sea to space, Polaris becomes a formidable answer to the threat of armed attack, a powerful deterrent to world conflict. This is the story of the four-year countdown that brought this remarkable weapon into being. Deployed in the months to come, Polaris will add significantly to the ballistic balance of the free world. But the countdown for Polaris did not begin with the missile that was just fired. Nineteen fifty-five. Navy and industry meet to begin work on an entirely new weapon concept. A nuclear submarine, armed with ballistic missiles, capable of mounting an attack from beneath the seas to virtually any target on Earth. Yet, this concept must be converted into an operational weapon to bolster the nation's expanding ballistic missile program. 1957. More than 3,000 contractors working together as a team mobilize their vast resources behind the hundreds of thousands of elements that make up the fleet ballistic missile system. September 1958. Polaris is launched on the first of many flight tests that will etch the sky above Cape Canaveral, Florida. June 9, 1959. The first fleet ballistic missile submarine is launched at Groton, Connecticut, proudly bearing the name of a patriotic American. Other submarines building on both coasts will follow the George Washington down the ways. August 1959. A live Polaris missile is launched from the USS Observation Island. In this, the first eject launch of a ballistic missile from a ship at sea. December 30th, 1959. George Washington, lead submarine in the FBM program, is accepted by the Navy and commissioned as a man of war in the Atlantic Fleet. January 1960. Another Polaris is launched on the first fully guided flight downrange, marking the successful integration of missile fire control and guidance systems. March 29th, Charleston, South Carolina. The Naval Weapons Annex is commissioned. Here, Polaris missiles will be stockpiled, ready for assembly and checkout prior to loading aboard the FBM submarines and tenders. April 14th. History is made off San Clemente Island as Polaris is launched from underwater and for the first time ignited on a powered flight. May 1960. George Washington submerges on another in an intensive series of tests to fulfill its operational requirements. Navigation, fire control, launcher, and handling tests are conducted from varied keel depths in calm to moderately severe sea conditions to bring the Polaris submarine closer to the day it can fire the real thing at sea. June 1960, Charleston, South Carolina. Missiles to be used in the first live test from an FBM submarine are checked out at the Naval Weapons Annex. Later, at the Atlantic Missile Range at Cape Canaveral, these missiles are removed from their shipping containers and immediately checked out again. July 1st, 1960. George Washington arrives at Port Canaveral to load aboard her first live test vehicle. Compatibility checks must now be performed to provide maximum insurance for a successful flight. July 18th, 1960. George Washington underway for instrumentation checks and a final analysis of the complete weapon system. 
July 20th, 1960. With the odds 80% in favor of a successful launch, the final countdown begins. Man Battle Stations Missile, Man Battle Stations Missile. The blue and gold crews of the FBM submarine who have trained more than two years for this day are ready. And so are the complex systems within this submarine far beneath the sea. Her navigation system capable of pinpoint accuracy. Her communication system, in constant contact with the outside world so far above. The fire control system, which will compute the ever-changing ballistic path the missile must follow. The launching system, which will propel the missile up from the depth. T-minus one minute and counting. And the Polaris missiles resting firmly within their launch tube. 12.39, and count. still counting. Dispatch from George Washington to the President of the United States. Polaris, from out of the deep to target. Perfect. And perfect she is. 1532. To punctuate the success of this historic test, the countdown begins for a second Polaris. Polaris re-enters the atmosphere and strikes its target 1,000 miles downrange. Climaxing a spectacular four-year countdown by the government, scientific, and industry teams who have, on this day, given the nation three years ahead of schedule, a new naval weapon that promises to move the United States into a new age of security. 